Ew, that's super dirty. Welcome back to my channel. Get the latest money saving hacks and recommendations here as we keep life full, fit and fun. If you'd like to support my work, subscribe and hit the super thanks button. It costs 80 to $100 and more or less when we get someone to come over to our house to service the air conditioner for us. $80 for one unit, $200 for four, something like that. In today's video, we're going to look at how we can clean the air conditioner ourselves to make it cooler and in doing so, save some money too. The aircon is getting less cold or not cold at all. It's a common problem. In this video, we will look at how it can be fixed. Well, we don't really fix it. All we need to do is to clean it and it's easy. So stay tuned. Be right back after this message. Today's sponsor is Ding Dong Home. This is the all new magic dust worn by Ding Dong Home. We all know how busy we are with our work-life imbalance and we don't have time to clean our home, do we? Magic dust wand is here to save the day. Just wave it around and all the dust goes zap. Simple as that. Priced at $199.99. Buy one, get one free for a limited time. By the way, I'm not an expert, but I know some basics for cleaning the aircon indoor unit. It should be simple for you too. Before we start, let's look at where are the possible areas that can cause the aircon to be not cold. Number one, the aircon gas refrigerant is leaking. It's possible, but unlikely. Number two, the blower fan is dirty, very dirty. Happens all the time. Number three, the evaporator coil is dirty. It happens all the time too. Let's take a look at each of the possible areas. Number one, aircon gas refrigerant leakage. The refrigerant in the pipe that runs from the outdoor compressor to the indoor fan unit is leaking. The small pipe that I'm pointing at right now is the pipe that carries the refrigerant. It goes in a loop from the outdoor compressor to the indoor unit. And this pipe gets really cold. So cold that it's capable of cooling a large room. It's amazing that such a small pipe is able to cool a large room. So, if the refrigerant is leaking and it has leaked so much somewhere along the pipe, it will eventually lose its capacity to get cold enough. And we would have to adjust the temperature on the remote control lower and lower, which tells the compressor to work harder and harder to make the refrigerant cold enough. When the compressor works harder, it uses more electricity and we spend more on the electrical bill. But for refrigerant leakage to happen is highly unlikely. Possible, but unlikely. Possible if someone breaks the pipe or the joint, and maybe through corrosion over time. Number two, the blower fan is filled with dust, choked and filled with dust. I have a video for that. I'll put a link in the description. Check that out at the end. Number three, which is what this video is all about. The evaporator coil is choked with dust and possibly slime. Before we begin talking about how to clean that, let's talk about how it works. So basically, this entire area is filled with the super cold pipe. It twists and turns to maximize surface area, so this entire area becomes super cold. There are gaps in between where air is able to flow. As the blower fan turns, it sucks air from the room, pass through the coil, and comes out from the bottom. As the air passes through the coil, the air is cooled. And that's how we get cool air coming out from the bottom. So now, if, the, if dust chokes up the gaps, air is not able to pass through the coil efficiently. And thus, no cold air will come out from the bottom. Let's talk about cleaning out the dust. There are two common methods. Method one is to perch water, spray water through the gaps. But this is going to be messy. There's going to be a waterfall coming down the aircon. And we will need a large plastic sheet to contain the water. But we're not going to talk about that for now. Method two is to suck out the dust from the gaps. For this, we need a vacuum cleaner, a wet vacuum cleaner that can handle water because there's going to be lots of moisture in the gaps. The vacuum cleaner must be powerful enough for this to work, something like what I have here. I'll do a review video for the vacuum cleaner and put a link in the description. Check it out at the end of the video. Other than the vacuum cleaner, we need a brush, a spray bottle, and a screwdriver. The precautions. Number one, the fins on the coil are fragile. They are soft. They bend easily. So airflow will be affected when the air gaps are closed due to the fins being bent. 
Number two, never use a normal vacuum cleaner for this. They can't handle moisture. Moisture is going to get ingested into the motor and it's going to get fried. We know that's happening when we smell smoky metal odor coming out of the vacuum cleaner. Work begins. First, turn off the mains. Open the front panel. Remove the filters. Open the flaps. Look for the clips on the first flap. Slide the clips to the right to release. Remove the first flap. Do the same for the second flap. Remove the two caps. Remove the screws with a Phillip head screwdriver. Now, you can remove the cover by pulling it towards yourself. There are catches at the top and bottom that holds the cover in place. Pull down the bottom and push down the top to release the catches. And pull the cover to take it up. Let's take a close-up look at the dust and dirt. Ew, that's super dirty. Next, gently and patiently, run the brush and nozzle from top to bottom, making sure we don't damage the fin. Dust and water will be sucked out of the coil and into the vacuum cleaner. If they are not coming out, that means the vacuum cleaner may not be powerful enough. Next, spray a soap solution. I like to use a mild kitchen cleaner. Spray it all over the coil. The idea is to let it soak and sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Let it grab all the micro dirty stuff off the surface of the fins and pipes. Use the wet vacuum cleaner again and repeat the vertical top at the bottom routine. It's done. The evaporator coil is nice and clean now, except for some parts that we couldn't reach due to the aircon being too close to the ceiling and the vacuum hose wasn't able to squeeze in. As you can see, there is lots of dust on the top and back of the coil. To reach those areas, we will need a more flexible hose or use the water purging waterfall method. Here's the dust and dirt collected in the vacuum cleaner. Look at that. There's still a lot stuck on the wall. And this is coming out from the vacuum hose. Even though it's not 100%, we have cleaned 80% of it. And this should be enough to fix our problem of aircon not cold. Let's put the cover back on and test it out. Align and push the cover straight in. Check the sides to make sure they are aligned. Put the screws back.
put a caps back. Open the front panel. Put the filters back on. Close the panel. Put the flaps back. Align the clips and push towards the left. Do the same for the second flap. Turn on the mains. Turn on the aircon. Set it to 26 degrees Celsius. Ooh, yes, it's cold now. It's much colder now at 26 degrees than it was at 22 degrees. Thank you for making this far into the video. Hope it has been useful for you. If you'd like to support my work, subscribe and hit the super thanks button. Thank you once again for being here. See you in the next video.